arrived in Naples on a murky day after a restless night of traveling. To be honest, the port of Naples intimidated me a little. First impressions, the city looks quite ugly and bleak. But as we began walking deeper into the city, we saw more and more of that liveliness which I had been expecting. Every little shop or garage that you enter has such a unique and vivid aesthetic. It's really quite incredible. We see this type of thing quite often on the doors and I think it means that two babies were born here recently. Naples is uh, the third biggest city in Italy and coming here something I really wanted to see was some kind of underground culture in the city. Now that is something that is sort of hard to do when you're here only for uh, a few days but um, what I've seen is that this sort of subculture is actually very present in the center of the city where all the tourists are. This girl I talked to here said that it's a communist center so I'm not sure if it's a community center or an actual communist center. You like uh, Stalin? <laughs> uh, have fun. the door for me into this abandoned building and warned me that there are ghosts in here. Because of um, studying the city, I discovered that there are so, some really strong energetic point. Every place has an energy. And what we do when uh, we cross the city without attention, without giving the right time to get in contact with the places we forgot to to create a, a connection with, with the places. Yeah. We forgot to create a sharing, a connection with other people. entering some houses out here to see what life over here is really like 
and I feel like each house is just a historic artifact. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, grazie. Okay. Grazie. Ok. Grazie. Ah, <laughs> the guy that we just talked to over there is the sculptor of this thing. All the people I've interacted with here are so warm, but unfortunately the best I can get here is just a short interaction because uh, no one here speaks any English and my Italian uh, is pretty much non-existent. might sound cliche, but walking around Naples, I sometimes got the feeling that I'm on the set of some play or opera. It's almost like everything here is on display, inside out. Groups of grandmas sit together on the street to gossip. Through the windows and open doors you can see people watching TV in their apartments or having a heated argument and so on. In a sense, it's the opposite of Paris, where I lived for four years. Walking around certain neighborhoods of Paris, it felt like the buildings were completely lifeless. Living there, we never knew who our neighbors were and what their lives were like. And it was refreshing to see a different side of Europe where things aren't like that.